Welcome back to part 32 of Pokemon Crystal. Last time, I left you off a little bit farther south in Virian City. This time, I went back to Virian Forest because I love this music. This music has a sense of tranquility that is almost unmatched anywhere else in the game. Uh, this and the, uh, what's it called, National Park are like the best themes in the whole game, but we have to keep it moving. Uh, talk to me, guy. Hey, kid. Yeah, I want to see what he says if I say yes. Uh... Do you believe me? Do you believe me? Yes. Good, good. Yes, I was something out of the ordinary. Let me tell you. Okay, cool. Oh god, but this music is so good too. This music is so good. Alright, but first things first, we're gonna head actually west. Uh, I don't know if anything happens if I go west, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna see. What happens if I go west? Anything up here? There's definitely an item up here, too. Uh, there's no items? Alright, whatever. Anybody gonna battle me? Nobody gonna battle me? Ain't nobody gonna battle me. Oh, who are we fighting? Is it freaking Moltres? Is it freaking Latias? Oh, it's a Poliwag. You can find Poliwag in the first game. If you can find Poliwag here in the first game, the game be so easy. I'm gonna catch him. Uh, Pokeball. Cool. Caught that mofo. The swirl on its belly is. Just... Wait, let me start the. Let me run it back. Let me run it back. The swirl on its belly is its inside showing through the- I screw it up. I screw it up. I screw it up. I can't do it. I'm not- I'm not- I'm not Catherine guy anymore. I screwed it. I screwed it. That was a really, really weirdly phrased sentence though, so don't fault me. Uh, Pokemon League. Victory Road. Entrance. Alright, what happens if I go in here? Can I go back home? Cause all the guys out there. This way leads to Mount Silva. You see scary strong Pokemon out there. Oh yeah, we fought this fool before. That goes to Victory Road, right? And this just goes back home. Oh, cool. Oh, I don't get the little dun 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 dun. That would be cool if I got it every time. I always like when you can get, like, when you can manufacture the item get sound. Like, that's always nice. Alright, so, uh, let's take Larry Bird and fly back to Viridian. Alright, cool. And uh, we're gonna head south. Route one, very first route of any Pokemon game. Uh, we could <gasps> the remix. Just listen. The re shh, just listen. The remix. So good. Oh, we'll wait for it to stop glitching. That intro is completely new. The intro is completely new. Oh my god. So hearing this song is so nostalgic, obviously, but like. The song itself is such a simplistic little melody that it it really does feel like you're starting on an adventure. Like it's it's almost an elementary melody. It's just so <gasps> those high notes are. This is crazy. Yeah, this is crazy. All right. Um. Actually, we're just gonna keep fighting with what's his face, Yuffie. Fight me, guy. If trainers meet, the first thing I do is battle. Why are you telling me this? Like, should be telling this to the other people who are coming from north. Don't tell us people coming from south, because clearly I've been this way. Oh, schoolboy. Schoolboy Danny. Send out Jinx. Jinx is racist. Don't mess with it. Level 31? What are you doing, buddy? Can we level up your pokes a little bit? Can we, like, just a little bit. Just a, just a little bit, please. Thank you. Like, give me some level 40s in this. Oh my god, we're level 51. We're almost there. Oh god, you know Powder Snow? I'm definitely dead. Alright, anybody got time for this? Uh, Electabuzz? I'ma kill it. I'ma kill it. I'ma kill it. Magmar? I'ma kill it too. Oh wait, hold on, that's crazy. Is like, Jinx like the female counterpart of Magmar and... What's his face? Because think about it, like, Jinx... Is Ice. They're like the legendary trio of humanoid Pokemon. I never thought of that. Jinx, Magmar, and Electabuzz. Like, they're all, like, bipedal Pokemon that represent different elements, but they're not... I wouldn't say, like, they're definitely... I don't think they're counterparts, but it's just interesting. It, that's that's weird. They're humanoids, for sure. Alright, just, just kill it. Just kill it faster. Uh, do you know Ice Beam? Doesn't matter, because you're dead. Nope, because you're dead. I said, because you're dead! Okay, there we go. Talk to me, son. Route 1. Pallet Town, Viridian City. Alright, that's 
not useful. I knew that. Shh, just listen. Just listen. This is some complex music. There's like three channels going on right now. There's like three channels of audio going on right now. Oh my god. This is so great. Alright, talk to me, guy. Gal. Hi. Red's been away for a long time. He hasn't called either, so I have no idea where he is or what he's been doing. They say that no word no word is proof that he's doing fine. But I do worry about him. You should. You're his mother. Uh, you should have got on my cell phone like I have, though. My mom is better than you, so... Screw you, lady. Oh, does he have a SNES? What does he have? Grand Place the N64. Like, like mom got him in the N64, even though he hasn't been home. Because he had a SNES before. Like, it clearly the bed ain't been slept in, the computer ain't been used, but mom upgraded this console. Shout out to mom. Shout out to mom. Alright, let's go into Blue's house, see what's up. Uh, that's his sister. Hi, I'm Daisy. Like, oh, is this Daisy from freaking Shield? Alright, yeah. I love that they live in a one room freaking dining room. They don't have, uh, they don't have an upstairs bedroom like I do. <gasps> just listen, sh just listen. So good. So studious. Ah, Brad, it's good of you to come all this way to Kanto. What do you think of the trainers out here? Pretty tough, huh? Ah, you're collecting Kanto gym badges. I imagine that it's hard. But the experience is sure to help you. Come see me when you get them all. I'll have a gift for you. Keep trying hard, Brad. And then he wants to examine my Pokedex. Uh, it's gonna be trash. You need to fill up the Pokedex. Yo, man, you need to fill up your freaking cupboards because they're barren or something don't tell anyone but Pokemon that's so lame it's not a live broadcast so what you're telling me is that Professor Oak is a podcaster because if it's not a live show it's, just, it's a podcast that's all it is it's a freaking podcast alrighty talk to me guy Technology is incredible. You can now trade Pokemon across time. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Like, is this freaking Ages of Shield? Like, why are we time traveling this bee snatch? Alright, we're going to put up a Max Repel because F these Pokemon. And we're, we're going south. Route 21. Uh, I'm going to fight all these people off screen. Now I'm going to fight this chick on screen. Uh, it's Misty. Swimmer Nikki. Oh, a lady named Nikki sold me my car. How great. Uh, die faster. Because your Pokemon are trash. Your Pokemon are garbage. Level 28. Like, what are you doing? Level 28 in this bees match? Alright, oh, you're dead. Cool beans. Look at the sea of blue. That's crazy. Also, I misspoke. I should clarify in the last episode. I misspoke. Uh, the clear bell is what gets you to Suicune. The silver wing is uh, something else, and the rainbow wing is Lugia, or vice versa. I don't freaking know. All right, there's a guy standing at the rock, but we're gonna go in here and heal first because Yuffie needs to heal. It's been a year since the volcano erupted. Oh yeah, this is Cinnabar Island, by the way. Cinnabar's gym, Cinnabar Jim's plane apparently lives alone in Seafoam Island's cave. Yeah. Uh, but for some reason they gave Cinnabar the um, regular town music they should have given it the, the Cinnabar music because that was a really somber song I think it was unique to, to Cinnabar in the last game uh, but in Heart Gold Soul Silver they give you such a good remix of the original Cinnabar song it's so good uh, maybe I'll put it I might put it in here I actually yeah you so when we got to Cinnabar Island, I just started playing the the Cinnabar music from Park Old Soul Silver. There you go. Uh, Alright, cool. We're going to give Yuffie this rare candy. 
And eventually we will have a freaking... What was she talking? A Dragonite, which will be kind of cool. Hopefully we can get her in like the next couple episodes. That'd be really great. Who are you? Well, it's plain to see that you're a trainer. My name's Blue. I was once the champion, although it was only for a short time. That meddling red did me in. Anyway, what do you want? You want to challenge me or something? I hate to say it, but I'm not in the mood for a battle right now. Take a good look around you. A volcano erupts, and just like that, a whole town disappears. We can go on winning and losing in Pokemon, but if nature so much as twitches, twitches, twitches TV, <laughs> we can lose in a second. That's the way it is. But anyway, I'm still a trainer. If I see a strong opponent, it makes me want to battle. If you want to battle, me, come to the very next gym. I'll take you on then. And he teleports out because he's a telepath? Sure, let's go with that. Alrighty, um, so we're gonna... Oh, Lottie's level 54, that's crazy. We're actually gonna lead with Larry... Nope, we're gonna... I said we're gonna lead with Larry Bird because Larry Bird gets no love. I'll level up Yuffie at some point. Um, we want to head out south. Uh, there's not a whole lot left to do in Kanto. We're just like two batches down. Uh, but I will say, I completely forgot, so the last time I played a Pokemon game, Fire Red, Leaf Green, I did like some of the stuff, but then the time before that, Pokemon Ruby, or Pokemon Sapphire, yeah, it's a gem, uh, Pokemon Sapphire, I did not do enough of Legendaries. I don't, I didn't, well, okay, I caught Latios and I caught Kyogre. I didn't catch Rayquaza. Like, what are you doing? Well, you gotta catch Rayquaza. Um, but here we are. Cinnabar's Jim Blaine. He's uh, by himself. Looks so much cooler in the next game, but, you know. Uh, we're gonna talk to the dude. Wow! My Jim and Cinnabar burned down. My fire breathing Pokemon and I are homeless because of the volcano. Wow! But I'm back in business as a gym leader here in this cave. If you can beat me, I'll give you a badge. Ha! You better have burn heal. Yeah, shout out to that, the classic one. Then here we go, freaking Mr. Fuji wants to battle. Leader Boy is on Mag Cargo. The evolution of Slurgma. That's my guy Slurgma. Slurg on my knob. <laughs> oh god. Alright, let's uh just send out Lottie. I had intended to do this with like freaking the other guy with with, with Bran and or with the flying type Pidgeot, yeah, Layer Bird, but I probably won't because he's kind of trash. Maybe if he says like Magmar, I'll send out Layer Bird just to, like fly or something. But otherwise, I'm gonna just bench him. I really should just use Lottie or use Yuffie until she evolves. I want to, but I'm like I need to spread out the levels a little bit. Because basically, Yuffie has fought like every trainer in the entirety of this section of the game. Wait, does he only have three pokes? If so, that's kind of sad. And you're already using your trademark Pokemon. Oh, wait, no, is it? So Magmar is his trademark Pokemon in the anime. But I think in the games, his trademark Pokemon is Rapidash. You know, Rapidash. Um... Yeah, I think that's how it works, because he always is a Rapidash, and uh, she's always hella good. Like, Stomp is just so hardcore. It's just stomping the life out of mofos. I think it can make you flinch? That, that move's so good. Oh yeah, Rapidash. Oh, well, keep battling, let's see. I feel like that Rapidash cry is also a cry for another Pokemon. Like somebody else has that doo 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 like it's the same cry, just like a different, different pitch or something. Uh, something else I will have to do for post game. So all right, there's legendaries, which I have to look up to see. I know of two legendaries we have to get, um, but I have to see. There might be another legendary or other legendaries. Um, and then who else? There's oh I want to I'll show off rock tunnel may as well it's a uh, the, the cave by the power plant because we never even so much just looked that way so it, it wouldn't hurt to show it off um, and then there's of course the final battle which is important and the final cave that goes along with it uh, there you go killed plane while 
talking. Oh, wait, wait. That man was not here the whole time. There's a man in the bottom left cor right corner. Damn, he was not here. He was certainly not here. Oh, it's over already? Sorry, sorry. Cinnabar Jones. Oh, okay, thank God. I was about to say, is this like some freaking ghostly specter? This mofo just fly out of nowhere. Alright, well, you know what? Because this is so epic, we're just going to fly back to Radiant City, and we're going to do some two gems, one, one, one video, once more. We've done it like three times this freaking game. Like, this game is so well paced, but it's also terribly paced, where it's like you're just doing gems in such short succession. Uh, I think he leaves with Executor, so this actually works out well. At least I think. Uh, but I'm gonna try to do this one take. If he kills me, then we'll just like in the episode and I'll come back and whatever. But if he doesn't kill me, then uh, we just beat all 16 gem leaders. Alright, talk to me, guy. Yo, Sham of the Making. How's it going? Looks like you're on a roll. The gym leader's a guy who battled the champion three years ago. He's no pushover. Give it everything you've got. Yes. Brilliant City Pokemon Gym. Still doesn't say who leads it, but uh. There you go. Yo, finally got here, huh? I was in the mood at Cinnabar, but now I'm ready to battle you. You're telling me you conquered all the gyms in Johto? Heh, <laughs> Johto's gyms must be pretty pathetic then. Hey, don't worry about it. I don't know if you're good or by your battling. What? I misread that. Alright, whatever. Let's, uh, let's fight. Let's fight so I can kill your pokes and uh, get this moving. Look at that hair. Look at that freaking Goku anime hair. <sighs> Pigeon on pigeon action. Oh god, you're level 56? Oh wait, we're level 50, we're good. Um, hit that mofo with a sand attack. And we're faster? Let's go. Yo, Pidgeot probably tastes so good. Look how meaty its breast is. Like, it's probably super chunky. It's probably so, like a fried pigeon? That would taste delicious. So much fat. So much meaty content. Oh god. My goodness, my G. Aw, oh, dang, it's over, it's over, it's over, it's over, it's over. I wonder if he always leads with Mirror Move, because Mirror Move is, uh. is kind of lame, because, like, what if you're. let's say you're like Ivy Sword, and you're like, I'm gonna use Razor Leaf. And then you just, like, use Mirror Move. It just does weak damage. I mean, like. Pokemon aren't really using moves that are super effective against themselves, all the other Pokemon, generally speaking. Like, it's not like Larry Bird here knows freaking Thunder. And if I did, I'd probably kill you before you could use Mirror Move. I don't know, I'm just saying. Alrighty, uh, ride on. You can ride on these nuts. Um, let's just go with Icer, why not? I probably could have used Icer for... I think that's an Alakazam, but... Oh, he got Horn Drill. He gonna hit me with that Horn. Okay, let's see what we're looking at. Give me half. Give me half. Okay, I'll take it. Alright, just speed that up. And one more. I do have to think about who I'm gonna teach Toxic to. I might give it to Icer. Uh, because Toxic is super useful. But, um... I thought about giving it to, to Yuffie as well, just so she had it, had something to do. I, I guess she has paralysis, so it would make sense. And since Ice right here is poison, guys. Oh god. Yeah, it's only it's it's about midnight now. It's 12:37, 12:27 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I guess it doesn't matter because it's local time. Alrighty, so uh, Gary here, oh, not Gary, Blue, he will shift Pokemon on you, which is, um, it's somewhat annoying, I guess. Hyper Beam? He's gonna use Hyper Beam, wow. I'm not dying from that. Yeah, I'm dead from that, okay, that's cool. Alright, who can, who can take this thing out? God, I am not equipped to take out these Pokemon, let's go with Korg. And let's see what Takedown does. Oh, 
And like I said, I'm gonna keep all this in. I'm just gonna, if I can take them out, then I will. Um, but if not, you know, so be it. I will, uh, I'm not even gonna really train, I'll just retool my strategy. If I could teach Thunder Punch to somebody, that'd be great. Uh, let's try Bite. <gasps> you're lame, you're lame, alright, you're lame. Anyway, I have time for this. S speed that up a little bit, and, uh, take down. Yo, Korg is a tank. Korg is a tank. Honestly, I'm tempted to just like grind off of this guy. Just let my guys die and just grind? Yeah, that'd be crazy. Right on. Well, let's get Yuffie in here. I mean, with any luck, she can evolve off of this gem, but uh, I'd have to really specify using her. Wait, how much? She got like 1300 XP. <gasps> nah, she's gonna get a new level. She's gonna get a level. If we win this gym, she's getting, she's getting, uh, she'll evolve. She should, at least. Let's see. Uh, maybe not. Now we'll get one level, probably. Harukuzan. Okay. Uh,. Probably should have saved Korg for that one, but let's try it. Watch him, like, use Psychic on me. He's definitely going to recover, like, that other weird Kinesis. Because I doubt he knows any other moves. Oh my god, I'm definitely yawning heavy right now. This is just, this is just terrible. Oh, is that a crit? No, that's regular. Right, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah, he's a, he's a lame, he's a lame, he's a lame. Alright, let's just speed this up a little bit, because the beeping, the beeping, alright, we're just, just back and forth. Just back and forth, any day now. Just back and forth. Just back and forth. You gotta run out of PP at some point, my guy. One day. There we go. <laughs> I mean, what did you want from me? I'm not going to sit there and wait for him to bounce around. Oh, we're going to beat Gary. We're going to be blue on our first try. That's crazy. All he has left is uh, Arcanine. He either has Executor or maybe a Venusaur. Because I don't think he wouldn't have Charizard if he has Arcanine. I don't remember seeing Executor already. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't remember his team at all. Well, it's actually fortuitous so that we do this all in one part because in between episodes, I'm gonna have to go and look up like all the legendaries and like all the side areas to make sure I don't miss anything. Cause uh, I do want to do all that stuff. Um, Cause otherwise, it's just like basically go left, leave here, go left to Mount Silver, and. Uh, fight the final battle, which is, like, fine, I guess, but, uh, you know, I want to catch Entei, I want to catch ho ho Lugia, ho ho Lugia. Oh my god. I'm dying out here. Yeah, Executor, that's what I thought. That's what I figured. Uh, let's just go Brand Vol B. Vol C, Vol B. And Flame Wheel. Uh, what are we looking at? What are we looking at? Is that death? That's nice to death. That's, that's, no, that's not Oko. That's not Oko. <gasps> he got burned. He doesn't have burn heal. Does he have burn heal? He probably doesn't have burn heal. God, Leech Seed sounds awful. Oh, he does have folder, so alright, kill it. I'm gonna hit you with Amber. I'm gonna hit you with Amber. I don't even need a full flame wheel to kill you. 40 base power. You're Dunskies. Critical hit. Let's go. And there you have it. Just like that, we are one level away from having a Dragonite, and we are the Kanto. Well, we the badge holder, Kanto badge holder. We have all the Kanto badges. There you go. Eleven thousand dollars. And the Earth badge. All right, I was wrong. You're the real deal. You are a good trainer, but I'm going to beat you someday. Don't you forget it. 
Um, there you go. That's uh, basically everything you can, well, not everything you can do in Kanto, but like all the main story stuff, um, which is nice. So, for now, I will say, uh, see you in the next one, wherein we will head probably back to Johto, um, catch some leg legendaries, see some like side areas, probably. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna do like all the all the side areas, like. What's that one with the cave and Jonah, like Mount Mortar, Dark Cave? I don't know if I'm gonna do all those. Like it's a little it's a little silly. But I'll do some of the other ones for sure. Um But until then, I will say see you next time and uh Wait, that's that's not how I do my outro. Thanks very much for watching, I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.